Hey Bob, it's me today. I want to talk, uh, tell a story. Yeah, talk about a story about what's going on in the world, about the virus that I'm not gonna say because I don't want to. Not because of YouTube and all the monetization bullcrap. But no, that's not that's not the case. I just want to talk about the story. I want to talk about it for a while, but I wanted to wait be, to see what would happen. But yeah, I'm going to say it now, it's been a couple weeks, almost a month actually. You know, almost a month, damn. <laughs> I really postponed this, oh. But before I get into the video, I want to say, I just couldn't record videos for the past couple days because I just felt bored. I mean, it wasn't because of all the virus and the news and all that kind of stuff. No, it's just, I, I have this these times where I just feel like I, I don't know what to record. But I remembered I could do this because it's been a while. I've been meaning to do this. And I want to do it now, so that's because I haven't. That's the reason why I've not been posting much over the past week or a couple, a couple weeks because I just don't know what to record. So yeah, so to start off my story. It all began in February, and for people that don't know, I go to college. I'm not gonna say what college I go to, but I go to college. Um, I have this class, political science. It's about talking about all the stuff that's going on in the world. And the politics and stuff like that about other countries. No, it's not important. But every year my political science teacher goes on a field trip to the UN. Which is in New York. It's, you know, this, it's the UN. It's, if you don't know, you probably know about it. It's very, very popular. Um, and that's fine and all. You know, you said if you want to go, you can go. Well, I didn't want to go. Because I didn't want to go to New York. I had school. <laughs> not kind of stuff. But I didn't go. I usually don't. I usually don't go to college field trips because they're um they're not the same as high school ones because you you go there for an entire day. But you know I didn't want to go the entire day. But that's besides the point. Um, as time went on and the virus became more and more apparent over the news, um, and affected our lives more and more and more. Um, I started to become wary because. This UN trip was in New York, and the virus was in New York. Now, I do live near New York. Um, I'm not going to say where I live, but I do live in a state that is close to New York. You can probably guess, because I made a video going to a location that was in the state that I'm in. I made a, like a, a vlog about it like a couple years ago. So, that pretty much explains where I live. But I'm not going to say where I live because I didn't want to give my address away. <laughs> but, um, I got more weary because this UN trip was in New York and the virus is in New York. It's spraying in New York. Now I said, oh, probably won't affect because different part of New York. But it kept on getting worse and worse and worse up until, I feel like mid-March. Yeah, mid-March is when all this started. So like mid-March, um, the trip was supposed to start. And they, the, the trip was still going on, like it didn't stop. So, I don't know how many people went. My professor went, another professor went, a bunch of students went. Also, if you're not a student, you can still go. So more people went. I don't know how many, but they went, because my class was, was off, because he was on a field trip, which is good for me. But you know, I was like, you know what? I feel, I'm feeling more nervous now because he, anyone could have the virus. and bring it to my campus so it's like i did tell my mom about it and she was like you don't have to go to the class if you don't want to which i was thinking about it and thinking about it because this is a serious issue because i don't want to get the virus because you can because it only affects people who are old and with underlying conditions those are the ones who are really in trouble anyone can get the virus but it's those type of people that those two groups that will be seriously in danger. And I technically have underlying conditions. Because when I was younger, I had like a hole in my heart. Not because, not because, uh, I didn't, I, I didn't have love in my life. Just because, you know, I had a hole in my heart. Because I'm not, I'm not healthy per se. But I, I am fixed. I am better now. I don't really have a, a big hole in my heart. It's just a whole other story. And I don't know the whole details. Because I need to like ask my parents what the hell happened because every year I went to the doctor like the special doctor to look at my heart but besides the point I kind of I, I don't know if that would affect 
if I had the virus or not. But, you know, you, you still gotta have that worry that could really impact you and potentially I could die. But, you know, it, I wasn't like that. I mean, I was worried up until, like, as the days keep on going forward. So as the days went by until my next class, which was like a Thursday, I learned that the field trip that my professor went on was the last day that they went. Because the day after, they closed it, and they cancelled it. I, feel, I guess I feel like it's a week-long thing, and that's when I was like, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right here. So you're telling me they went the last possible day to go, and cancelled the rest. So, they, all those people, all the students, all the professors that went, could potentially have the virus. So, the day, I think Thursday, it was the last day of of school before spring break. Um, I spring break in March, that's what it always is, because the end of semester is in May, so March was spring break, and I, I was done with my first class, and I heard that there was a potential case in my school. Now, I don't know if they were telling the truth, I don't know if it's a rumor, because if there was a case at that point in time, because it was getting serious, Ah, uh, the school would have been closed. It would have been legitimately closed. We have all been gone already before I heard that, but I guess it was a rumor because we all went normally. People were freaking out over this. Um, all my professors are talking about online classes because my classes were online after that point. After my spring break, the week following would be online classes, and I have online classes for the rest of the semester now, which it is for right now. So now... Going back a couple weeks. Uh, so, after I heard about that news that there could be a potential case of the virus, I became more nervous because that could be my professor or any of the students that went to the, to the trip to the UN. And that could be any students from my class. So, I did end up going to a class because I didn't want to miss out because last week before some break, I wanted to know what was happening with the online classes. So, I came to class, surprisingly enough, everyone was still there. No one else really, I guess, had any worries, I don't know. I think I was the only one that realized that, that all this was happening, or the connecting two and two together, that he went to the UN, my professor could have the virus, or any students could have the virus, yet, we're all in the class, all, all fine. Professor walked in, he didn't like, really, like, we never talked, we talked about the virus, but not the fact that he could have it. Which, I'm kind of glad that he didn't, at least I don't think. Because the virus could take up to like 14 days or whatever to, to show sy symptoms. I, I, I think, I don't know, he was going up and down the days. So, after that class was over, after the day was over, I had no more school for the rest of the semester. Which is still going on, and so that's why I wanted to wait to make this video because I do not know if I could have had it, but I don't think I do. Like, the symptoms I've heard are, like, a fever, bad cough, it's like getting a flu, except way worse, um, which I have not gotten at all. I never had a fever, I never had coughs. Um, I usually have a dry throat mostly because I do videos and talk to Kevin all, and friends all the time, so I, that's why I always have, like, a sore throat, basically, which is fine, it's normal for me to have, because... Like, right now, I have a sore throat. I've been talking too much. Well, I, I guess it's a sore throat. I don't know. It's just... I'm straining my throat, which is a normal thing to have when you are a YouTuber, because you're talking a lot. So, besides that, I'm fine. It's been a couple weeks. What was it? Like, like April. Yeah, it's, it's, it, we're in April now, so... It's been a good couple weeks, so... I'm all good. I'm all fine. You know, that's, that's essentially the story of how... Of, uh, how I was, uh... How I dealt with the virus. That's basically it. Trying to find words of how to explain the situation. Yeah. This is a story of how I came. This is my story of the virus. Oh, I'm dealing with it. Now, fortunately enough, I'm fine. Being self quarantined is fine. My whole family's fine. We're not affected at all. My dad works at ShopRite, so he's good. <laughs> they need ShopRite workers. He's good. Um, well. Mentally, he's not because he's always pissed off because there's so many people. Well, when it first started, now there isn't because 
of the rules that, that, that there can only be like 25 people in the store, which makes more people pissed off because they need their toilet paper. <laughs> so, yeah, we're all, we're, my family isn't really affected all that much. We, we don't go out really. No, we, we don't have friends that come to our house. We don't go to their house. So, basically, we've been self-isolating for years now, basically. We're, I'm used to it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I kind of want to tell this story because I think it's interesting. I mean, all, the, all the other stories, it's not that impactful because I never had the virus. I don't think I will. Hopefully not. Hopefully all my relatives don't get it, which I hope. I hope none of my friends get it. I hope no one gets it that I know of, but you never know. It, it could still be affecting someone because the virus takes time to develop, so I don't know. Every day is like a new day, basically. So... I'm still alive. Hooray, but if you guys enjoyed this video, enjoy this story, hit that like button and subscribe. Enjoy enjoy more of these story type videos and do that. So I'm gonna go now, so goodbye. Yeah, I confess, father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know I've been blessed. I, I had a thousand chances. How many left? I've been sinning lately, what do you suggest? What should I do? I want 999 more Hail Marys right now. Right now.